Welcome to this step-by-step -step guide on how to run Gemini AI on Termux. Termux is a powerful terminal emulator that allows you to run a Linux environment on your Android device. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up Termux, install the necessary packages, and execute a Python script to interact with Gemini AI. Let's get started. Installing Termux. To begin, you'll need to install Termux on your Android device. Open the Google Chrome and search F-Droid Termux, and then from search results tap on Termux. Scroll down and then tap to download it. Takes few minutes to download and then install the application and launch it. Termux provides a full-featured Linux environment, allowing you to run commands and scripts just like you would on a desktop Linux system. Once Termux is installed, open the app. The first thing you should do is update the package list to ensure you have the latest versions of all packages. Type the following command and press enter. pkg update and pkg upgrade bash y. This command updates the package list and upgrades all installed packages. It's a good habit to keep your environment up to date for security and stability. Installing Python packages. Now that Termux is set up and updated, we need to install Python and a few other essential tools. Python is the programming language we'll use to run our Gemini AI script. We'll also install pip, which is Python's package manager, and nano, a simple text editor. Execute the following commands one by one. pkg install python y, pk install python pip, pkg install nano y. First command installs python, the second installs pip, and the third installs nano. These tools are essential for writing and executing Python scripts on Termux. Next, we need to install the requests library, which allows our script to make HTTP requests to the Gemini AI API. To install this library, use pip by entering the following command, pip install requests. This command downloads and installs the requests library, which we'll use to interact with the Gemini AI service. Creating and editing the script. With all the necessary packages installed, it's time to create the Gemini AI script. We'll use the nano text editor to write our script. Type the following command to create a new Python file, nano gemini.py. This command opens nano, a simple text editor, and creates a new file called gemini.py. In the editor, you'll write the script that will interact with the Gemini AI API. Copy and paste the following code into the nano editor. You can find the code and all the commands used in this tutorial at the link below. Getting API key and saving script. After pasting the code into Nano, replace your API key here with your actual API key from Gemini AI. To get your API key, sign up for Gemini by searching for Gemini AI on Google and following the first link or use the Gemini app from the Play Store. Once signed up, follow the link provided in the blog to the API key section, create a new API key, and copy it. Then, paste this key into your code. Finally, save and exit Nano by pressing Ctrl X then Y to confirm, and enter to complete the process. Running the Gemini AI script. With the script ready, you can now execute it to interact with Gemini AI. Use the following command to run the script. Python 3 Gemini.py. To end the conversation, simply type exit and press enter. If you need help or instructions while interacting with the script, type help to see a list of available commands. Inclusion, that's it. You've successfully set up Termux, installed the necessary tools, and run a Python script to chat with Gemini AI. Termux provides a powerful way to utilize Linux tools and scripts right on your Android device, making it a versatile tool for developers and tech enthusiasts alike. If you found this guide helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing for more tech tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.